Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how to write a literature review. Specifically, this video I am creating on demand of various research scholars, those are pursuing their PhD thesis as well as those people are writing their research papers. So first of all, uh, in this video, I would like to tell you qualitative literature review as well as quantitative literature review because we are writing usually two kinds of uh, research papers. One is qualitative in nature, another one is quantitative in nature where we are using statistical tools to calculate, to uh, establish analysis. So here is how to write a literature review. This is a very popular paper that was published in 2013 and Journal of Criminal Justice Education. And it was written by Andrew S. Denny and Richard. So this paper I would like to uh, discuss with you. And this paper would be available in my description box as link. So I'm sure you could be able to access this uh, paper also, this research paper uh, you can access. So after this, you can see here, learning how to effectively, effectively write a literature review is a critical tool for success for an academic and perhaps even professional career also. So in this uh, particular paper, you can see there's the discussion about, right, structure, process, and art of writing. So first of all, we understand as per Creswell 1994, what is actually literature review? It's clearly defined over here. The literature in a research study accomplishes several purposes. Number one, share with the reader the result of other studies that are closely related to the study being reported, as well as it is uh, uh, related to the larger ongoing dialogue on in the literature about a topic and uh, filling in gaps and uh, extending prior studies. And it provides framework for establishing the importance of the study. So let's we come to this point, what are the themes, sub themes, as well as the most common and most appropriate source to draw upon and use as evidence in a review of a topic are articles found in academic journals and books. So these are most reliable sources where we, sh we should include in our literature review. And literature review need to identify and discuss, explain all of the main points or findings of a specific topic. So both classic, if available, and the most recent studies need to be included to demonstrate an in-depth understanding of the topic at hand. So what is important? Basically, primarily, literature review force a writer to educate him or herself on as much information as possible pertaining to the topic chosen, as well as this provide credibility to the authors and integrity to the work's overall arguments, as well as this would be, we can see here, is important to keep in mind that it's not realistic to expect readers to be familiar with all the relevant background and pre-existing knowledge about any topic. So here is, let's come to the this part. Here is in regard of this, the professional importance of a good literature review for a manuscript that reports on the results of an original research project. It may be important to know that literature review are commonly focused upon components of manuscripts under review for publications. And uh, if we come to the, what does a literature review include? First and for, foremost, literature review include a comprehensive overview of a general topic. For example, it is a study on whether alcohol abuse leads to the tendency to commit violent crimes, then it would need to have an overview of substance abuse issues. Right, those are not just because of alcohol abuse. So after that, only we can do the correct interpretation of this point. As well as here is when we talk about uh, uh, basically how it would 
contribute in social sciences research. Literature review can take on a number of different focuses that vary according to the type of research questions that the review functions to set up in the current study. So we can correlate this with the current study. And next question is come out, what are qualitative and quantitative studies? As I said earlier also, what could be the difference between qualitative and quantitative studies and how we have to write literature review for both kind of papers, both kind of studies. So basically there are two categories. So qualitative, we talk about qualitative studies are typically those that wish to gain understanding regarding the interactions that take place with a certain special word. For example, it is someone wanting to study how gang leaders function in their world, how they interact with others including gang members, leaders of other gangs and regular people. And how they practice their role in the community would find that a qualitative approach would be best approach, right? And when we talk about quantitative approach, so quantitative study is where researchers typically want to identify whether or not a statistical relationship exists between variables and how strong or prevalent such a relationship is. Like for example, someone wants to understand the relationship between individuals, even a level of education and their tendency to commit property crime. So then they would most likely have to examine this relationship through a quanti quali quanti qualitative, quantitative approach. So most common way that this study would be concluded would be to use a survey or to construct measure of educational achievements and crime committed from official sources and then conduct statistical analysis. So next we come to the difference between writing literature reviews for quantitative and qualitative studies. I'm sure maximum time our research scholars as well as faculty members, those people are writing or the researchers, they want to write a literature review for qualitative as well as quantitative studies. So they always try to find out how, how I have to write for the qualitative or how I have to write quantitative uh, literature review. So here is qualitative or quantitative it is heavily determines how the literature review would be constructed. The qualitative research questions literature review need to focus on how a research question that is usually broader than a hypothesis is to be tested in a quantitative study. Right. So that is because both the hypothesis, there is a lot of difference, uh, qualitative as well as quantitative. But this is the key difference between qualitative and quantitative that will be discussed here is in the uh, quantitative section. And uh, here is what we talk about, discuss whether or not prior quant quantitative studies have been conducted on the current research topic. We have to find out. So here is two types of studies, as I said, quantitative and qualitative can greatly strengthen each other and work together to provide a more complete understanding of the desired research topic. And here is when we talk about a uh, quantitative only, only, only the purpose of the quantitative. So literature review for quantitative studies need to discuss both what previous studies pertaining to the research topic have found concluded and how such studies were done in terms of the specific variables used and the operational operationalizations of key specifically dependent variables right and uh, here is when we talk about this one is the uh, this one is the when we talk about uh, outline the literature review. Here is it. It is a uh, literature review very depending on the type of research questions being investigated by a study. So outlining is perhaps the most important step in writing a successful literature review. And uh, outline and become worried and overwhelmed with the properly ordering ideas being certain they have a point, right? 
when then we come to the uh, uh, this, this section of the next section of this paper so we can see here this paper would be available what sort of the uh, what sort of the sources we should include right in our literature review so that properly defined over here resources here is the main way is through the outline database at any university or the college library website so there are a number of the books are available a number of we can say uh, research articles are available so i just want to focus on this part that is very very important what types of resources are appropriate to use? That is a most frequently asked question by the researchers. So number one is a scholarly empirical articles, dissertations, and books. Number two, we can see here is a scholar, scholarly non-empirical articles and essays. Number three, textbooks, encyclopedias, and dictionaries, and trade journals articles, certain nationally and internationally recognized good news magazines also we can consider uh, during our uh, literature review and inclusion of classic major pieces of more recent studies that's the most important right extensiveness of the available literature will vary tremendously from topic to topic an example this is comparing the availability of literature for a research question pertaining to social learning theory and research questions regarding to computer privacy and uh, next we come to the this one is the important to include a mixture of classic and more recent studies in our literature review as i said earlier also and inclusion of most recent research is as vital it's not even more important than the inclusion of the classical pieces because otherwise we could not able to find out our research gap research gap is only find out whatever done in the in previous studies and as well as latest suppose i am writing a paper in 2022 so i should go through all last 3 years recent papers recent literature it's available in the on the on the on the website or wherever on the libraries so i should go through this particular um, research because uh, then only i could be able to find out my research gap right and uh, here is uh, then we come to the the next part is uh, theory is yes of course whenever we are writing paper on structure equation modeling or any regression uh, using the theory is uh, we first of all we are conceptualize our uh, framework first of all we are conceptualize our theory so theory is highly developed form of reasoning for why certain events occur right so behind this because not all of a sudden we are going to apply any statistical tool there should be one theory behind this so that is why and that comes out through our literature review only right when we have to go through um, uh, literature review then the next part is funneling idea so that has uh, been um, alluded to throughout the discussion best to think of the literature review collectively as a funnel that starts out as a big opening right then after that you are narrowed down that is why we are calling it funneling idea you have seen funnel funnel is the as uh, the is the big opening and travel to much narrower finite and so in essence this means that the literature review need to go from broad to specific right from generalized to the specific we will move so after beginning the literature review by introduct introducing an overall general idea briefly discuss why the topic is important and why more research need to be need to be conducted and uh, after this then we come to the what is the appropriate way to end a literature review yes most frequently asked question the end of the literature review serves as a bridge to the current study so therefore it must be clear and concise summary of what was present in the literature review without getting bogged down with the extensive and too specific to be useful details so there need to be that de uh, delicate balance between the primarily findings methodology and as well as that one is the here is the continued study of the certain research topic or perhaps perhaps to a new way of methodology then last is i would like to uh, recommend this thing that is a very beautiful quote by wood and Bele in 2005 
substantive thorough sophisticated literature review is a precondition for doing substantive thorough sophisticated research so therefore learning how to write a high quality literature review is an invaluable tool for both the writing process and the learning process so i hope this paper would be useful to you and uh, through this paper please read out this paper i am giving you this complete downloaded paper in my description box so please go through this paper and beautifully write your literature review irrespective of qualitative or quantitative research thank you keep watching